Hey, welcome back to Camtech TV. My name is John. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about fluid heads and how they can be helpful for your video production. So stick around. All right, guys, thank you for visiting the channel again. Today, we're going to be talking about the Manfrotto MH or MVH 502AH. Um, this is a fluid head. Um, this is more or less in their, um, I would say in their beginner, moving over to the intermediate use of their fluid heads. They have different types of fluid heads, but this is more the intermediate, I can say, line of uh, fluid heads. Uh, the reason being is because it has a drag control for your pan and your tilt. It also has this, um, what they call is a bridge technology which gives you a wider base and also a longer throw to be able to balance your camera on your uh, video uh, video head um, this gives you the ability to be able to have a very stable well balanced uh, camera setup whenever you're doing any types of pan or tilting that you may need to have that well balanced to get that smooth that crispy smooth shots well, let's get talking about what's the setup here. Um, I have a D7000 with a Tokina 16 to 28. This lens is very uh, front heavy, and I'm gonna go ahead and release the. I'm gonna go ahead and release the tension off of it, for you can see that automatically this this setup right now is a little bit back heavy so what i would do is to balance this out a little bit further i would go ahead and move it forward and then lock it down just to see if it goes back to center now i know for a fact right now that this camera and this video head is balanced to the center so that's this is going to give me once i tighten it down this is going to give me the smoothest pan and tilt shots possible because the camera is well balanced that's why it's great to have a fluid head with a long throw or with a long quick release plate because it's going to give you the ability to be able to balance those front heavy lenses um, as well as let's talk about the drag controls that it has for the pan and tilt this is one of the reasons why i purchased this tripod or this uh, fluid head for this tripod that i'm using and the reason is because I have a I have a long control or or, or the the ability to control this fine tune adjustments that I have for the needs that I can have. Let's say if I'm recording something that um, is real action heavy, I need to be able to move around quickly, I can do so. And since my hand is always in the area where this red ring is at. I can quickly adjust my 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 pan and tilt because the the tilt uh, uh, dial for the control of the drag is right on the side. So I have both of these dials right next to each other that I can quickly and easily adjust both of the dials at ease um, to be able to have the best performing uh, video head possible now there are some more expensive companies out there that make better fluid heads but we're talking about these budget friendly that get the job done um this is made out of some cat or some composite aluminum it's not aluminum per se i'm saying it's some type of a composite uh low grade aluminum but it is very sturdy and stable to be able to withstand I've dropped this a couple times on his head and um, pretty much it gets the job done. The only problem that I've had with mine is that sometimes, like see, it doesn't, it doesn't tighten down all the way in reference to having this uh, locking down in position. It locks down in position, but it doesn't grab onto the, the pole as much as I would like it to compared to my other ones i have to really you know tighten it down completely and i'm guessing it's because of the type of material or aluminum that they're using this composite material that it really doesn't uh, grasp out down on this um 
this poem because it'll twist off and and that could be a little bit of a problem but all in all for about 180 dollars you can pick these up used for like 130 120 bucks and they'll get the job done for any types of the video recordings that you can be using you can put your uh sliders on top of this and adjust them to your knees um another great thing that i use this for is for my monopod um, whenever I'm doing some um, running gunning stuff, I, I go ahead and take this fluid head off and put it onto my monopod. My monopod has the um, the level or the the three foot base for the monopod, and that is a great setup with a fluid head like this one because it gives you the, the versatility of moving around quickly, and you get that smooth pan and tilt um, from this fluid head itself. All in all, um, I cannot say anything wrong except for that little part of the handle or the or the bar that it has to be able to adjust. But all in all, it's a great tripod. I give it a, a nine out of ten because of its price, its quality, and its performance in reference to what it gets done. Now, what I can do now is just to give you guys an overview of how it pans and tilts I'll record the camera let me go ahead and focus on this and we'll do just a little test setup right here and let me make sure that my focus is a hundred percent so right now uh, what you're seeing now is the Nikon D750 with the Rode Video Mic Pro on my other fluid head and that is the Weifang or Weifang uh, 717 um, AH fluid head. And that right now, it's now it's on its full drag control right there. And I'm just barely pulling on it. And you can see how smooth it is. And I'll compare it to the other one. For you guys can see the difference. And then for the pan or for the for the, the tilt. I'll let it go down and I'm barely touching it and you can see how smooth it is. There's no jumps or there's no problems whatsoever in reference to that. And what you're seeing that is being recorded is onto a 16 to 28 Tokina lens and I'll go on the wide end. And as you can see that it is very smooth and I let it go and it's in place and it doesn't have any problems. The only thing is that you just want to have it down, tightened down, that you have a lot of resistance on your fluid head. You want to be able to hold down on your tripod so it doesn't have that jump. But right now I loosened it some and barely just touching it. And I just adjusted my focus. And then you can have like these, you know, pull down shot. That's my reflector right there. Let me just do this properly here. And I can just do a little shot like this. Just to do a little bit of a reveal. Let me just add a little bit of tension. I usually use this with a little bit of tension. And here we go. So as you can see guys, it's a very smooth, um, well compact, it's not too heavy. Um, all in all, I give, like I said, I give this uh, video head or this fluid head a nine out of 10. Um, but all in all, it's a great fluid head. If you guys are in the market of purchasing this particular uh, fluid head, I'll leave, I'll leave down some links down below so you guys can check them out on Amazon or on eBay. So you'll be able to have the chance to check them out if you have any um, other questions regarding this tripod make sure or this video head. Make sure that you leave them down in the comment sections for I can get back to you as quickly as possible. And again, guys, I thank you for visiting the channel and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.